I just wondered if the, the Deputy First Minister could set out perhaps in more detail about what, what steps and measures may be being considered by the Scottish Government in the coming financial year. Uh, above all else, I think that, that, that those you know, working in the, in the public sector, I think, require a level of insight and certainty regarding the, 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 the security of their employment. The first point I'd make, Kavita, is a, is a, a fairly general point which is that um, the committee will be familiar with the length of involvement I've had in the public finances. Uh, I've been a minister continuously for over 15 years and um, finance minister for, uh, for nine years and uh, now coming back into this role. So I've got a, a fair degree of line of sight about uh, the finances of the Scottish Government. I have never seen financial strain of the order that I am wrestling with just now. Um, not in the aftermath of the financial crash in um, 2008, not even in the years of um, austerity from 2010 onwards. So this is of a different order. And um, it's a product of the extreme volatility of events that I cited, um, COVID, which led to an increase in the public sector workforce, um, the, uh, the enormous disruption that's been created by the um, uh, unwarranted and illegal invasion of Ukraine, and the, um, the impact of inflation, and it has been frankly and bluntly made worse by the, uh, the, the backwash of the mini-budget, which has been a disaster for uh, the situation that we face. So the pressures are absolutely colossal, hence why I've had to come to Parliament to announce reductions in public expenditure already this year, and I may have to do more of that in the course, in the period that remains. Um, therefore, the, the challenges that we face are very significant, and I, um, and I understand clearly the the need for reassurance to the public sector workforce about how we intend to tackle that issue. Um, I've already embarked on discussions with trade unions about the, the strategic approach to, to that issue, because we have to take the greatest of care in uh, building as much confidence around those approaches as we can. Um, we uh, undoubtedly um, public sector headcount is going to have to reduce in the period going through the, uh, the, the, the spending review period and throughout this parliamentary term. How that is done is crucial. And uh, I want to do that um, in a spirit of partnership with uh, our workforce. Uh, I want to be open about the steps that we are taking to do that. Uh, we already have in place recruitment controls which are um, tempering um, any rises in employment. Uh, obviously, if we put recruitment controls in place, it means that vacancies are, um, in some circumstances, not being filled. Uh, that obviously reduces uh, the public se sector headcount, but it does it in a, a managed and careful fashion, which is the approach that I would want to take. Obviously, we have to um, reflect in each budgetary event that we go through how we can best address these strategic challenges, and that's very much the approach that uh, I will take um, throughout these discussions. But uh, I welcome the dialogue that we are having already with trade unions um, in this respect who have a clear and legitimate interest in ensuring that um, the workforce are dealt with um, properly and um, with courtesy and dignity, and that will be my approach throughout this challenge.